I'd love to discuss the state of art for HER2 treatment of metastatic breast cancer. And it's really probably one of the most exciting areas in the breast cancer field right now, besides the CDK4-6 inhibitors for ER positive. But I've been very involved with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer for over 20 years. And beginning when I was at the National Cancer Institute doing a small trial with pertuzumab. And then this led along with work by Jose Bazelga to the Cleopatra study, which I just published um, with the team in Lancet Oncology in 2020, the final analysis of the Cleopatra study. And this study really has um, the results were so positive with almost a 16 month improvement in overall survival that the regimen used in the Cleopatra study, a tax same um, dose of taxol used in the study, but some others are using paclitaxel too with pertuzumab and trastuzumab as first line treatment for metastatic breast cancer. And I think it's pretty standard all over the world. And in the final analysis that was just published, we showed that 37% of patients were alive at eight years, which is truly remarkable. And it's the longest follow-up, I think, of a randomized study in HER2-positive metastatic breast cancer. Years ago, these patients would have all died very quickly. So that's very exciting to see. And in those patients, in that study, 16% of the patients had not progressed as of the last data that we collected. So it's possible that some patients may actually be cured, and some of these patients were on treatment for longer than 10 years, so that's very exciting. Now, for second line, TDM1 has been the standard and is the standard, and that's based on the Amelia study comparing it to lapatinib and capecitabine, and then there are lots of different treatments that are effective for a third line. And within that includes things like lapatinib and trastuzumab, um, trastuzumab capecitabine, uh, neratinib capecitabine in the U.S., um, and most recently, a couple of approvals that I can talk about more later are tucatinib and trastuzumab durexican. 